was made I'm gonna have a good day He opened my eyes to see the sunshine I'm gonna have a good day Put my feet on the floor and walk out the door Share the joy of the Lord A better day than before I'm gonna have a good day Mistakes. Now I know the right thing to do I'm ending the old year and starting the new year with you Goodbye, sayonara Adios to you See you later, alligator Farewell, adieu Saying goodbye 2023 Saying hello 2024 I'm ending the old year Starting the new year with you You are the beginning, Lord You are the end The Alpha and Omega You're my very best In my past, now you're in my present and my future too. And I'm ending the old year and starting the new year with you. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Sayonara. Adios to you. See you later, alligator. Mighty, mighty sound Joel, 
and sky With the voice of the angel and the sound of the trumpet All the dead in Christ shall rise Then we who are living will be caught up together To meet Him in the clouds When the Lord Himself is coming He thought he'd give them the route So he chased them all down to the Red Sea shore He thought he wouldn't have to worry about Moses anymore But Moses stretched his rod out over the sea And the Lord answered Moses with a little gentle breeze I can see Moses now with a smile on his face Telling all the people with his gentle grace I've got a feeling Everything's gonna be alright Named David went out to fight the giant And everyone laughed at such a funny little sight A little shepherd boy armed only with a sling Beside mighty Goliath seemed such a puny little thing But David said you'd come to me with spear and a sword But I'd come to you in the name of the Lord He put in a stone and he gave it a fling And when it left his hand, David, he began to sing I've got a fear For the greatest story of them all Jesus was a dying and hell had a ball All the demons were rejoicing They thought they had won the war But soon they would not be laughing anymore On that first Easter morning And the sun woke up the earth The caverns of the deep opened up As to give birth to a resurrected Savior With healing in his wings And now the host of children rise and sing I've got a feeling Everything's gonna be alright Yes, I've got a feeling Everything's gonna be alright I've got a feeling Everything's gonna be alright Be alright, be alright, be alright Be alright, be alright, be alright 
took this poor worthless sinner and gave him Jesus righteousness now you may wonder why I have to praise his name I'm so thankful that he took my
might sing this song, Melody. But that never been a time in my life he didn't bring me through. I changed the words. Give me anyone should ever write.
that's found me My soul was in the lost and found I was on a one-way street I know I was hell bound I was going nowhere fast On the road Headed straight to nowhere Jesus never gave up on me Turn my life around Changes How life rearranges My Jesus Brought changes Deep inside me Changes Changes can truly set you free. Nobody likes changes. We want things to stay the same. But when Jesus touches your life, Things will get rearranged And if you say you found my Jesus You're still living the same You ain't found the Savior at all You're just playing a game Changes Jesus brings some changes He never Gave up on me Changes
get discouraged Don't let Satan get you down Just have a little faith And he won't come around You got to keep your eye upon The one God lifted up Keep your faith in Jesus Don't ever give up Have a little faith As a tiny mustard seed Have a little faith Great things you will see Have a little faith And watch the power of God Have a little faith As along life's pathway you trod Have a little faith As a tiny mustard seed Have a little faith Great things you will see Have a little faith And watch the power of God Have a little faith As along life's pathway you trod You are listening to the Webster's Gospel Music Show with your host, John and Don Webster. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and share with your friends, sharing Jesus with the world. The Webster Brothers. I woke up this morning, quarter past three My heart was so burdened, I just could not sleep The trial I was facing weighed heavy on my mind No one to talk to, no calm no peace could I find I remember sitting in Sunday school The teacher said, children, no matter what you're going through There is one you can turn to, just come and then I called his name right where I was Lord, I need you right now He said I'm here I'll never leave or forsake you Find out you can't run 
too far Anyone else would have turned me away When I cried, oh Lord, please hear my prayer Lord, I need you today Yeah. 
says God made to you and me. I read it, believe it, then I say that's me, that's me, that's me. I wake up every morning thankful for another day. Although there may be hardships and struggles along the way, I got the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness right in place. And I thank God I got Jesus' name to help me win this race. That's me, that's me, in God's will, that's me, that's me. Oh, what a thrill, living by faith in the world one day at a time, holding to the promises God made to you and me. I read it, believe it, then I say, that's me, that's me, that's me. Difficult and treat you so unkind But God has a word for you At just the right time Like that will keep him in perfect peace Whose mind is set on thee And he gives the strength to the weary And increases the power of the weak That's me, that's me. In God's will, that's me. that's me Oh, what a thrill Living by faith in his word One day at a time the promises God made to you and me. I read it, believe it, then I say, that's me, that's me, that's me. God's Word can give you peace and joy, no matter what you go through. Just meditate on the day and night is all you need to do. Then the faith will grow, the fear will leave, the sun will set you free indeed. To believe His Word is all you need in this life to succeed. That's me, in God's will, that's me. Oh, what a thrill, living by faith in the Word one day at a time. Holding to the promises God made to you and me. I read it, believe it, then I say, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. In God's will, that's me, that's me. Oh, what a thrill, living by faith in the world one day at a time. Holding to the promises God made to you and me. I read it, believe it, then I say, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. In God's will, that's me.
search for wisdom and see understanding there is someone who knows and always hears give it up give it up the load your back Wasted years Wasted years Wasted years Oh how foolish As you walk on in darkness and fear Turn
I stood in the night with my head bowed low in the darkness as black as could be. in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father he made himself of no reputation for our sake endured degradation he suffered the cross for our transgressions a servant to his father's will they mocked the one who came from heaven on the cross he prayed Father, forgive them. He was humble down like no other. Is it any wonder the Father roars like thunder? He is exalted. He is high and lifted up. Every knee shall bow. 
every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, and I will praise Him, this humble servant King. Now the Father lifts His name, He is Lord of everything. This is John Webster coming to you live from our studio in Hazel, Texas, and this is my co-host, Miss Joy Roberts. Joy, Hello. Happy New Year. <laughs> All right. We're going to have a great program for you. We have uh, quite a few that have already tuned in to listen, and I have a great praise report for you today. Um, you know, I was looking back over the last six weeks of our programming, and uh, there are Tens of thousands of people are actually viewing these programs, and that's very exciting news. That's, that is exciting. It? it is uh, exciting. We have quite a few uh, viewers. So our viewership is going up. Of course, uh, when we do the program on Fridays at noon, people can't always tune in at noontime on Friday, and that's okay. But those that do, we are grateful for, and because it gives us an opportunity to tape the program and then get it live. Yeah. Uh, and on then our people channel, can go back and look at it later. They can go back and look at it anytime they need to. So uh, we're excited about that. And as you'll see scrolling at the bottom of the screen there, it says that uh, we are going to have Barbara Fairchild and Roy Morris. Uh, they'll be on, um, let's see. January, January the 27th at 3 p.m. right here at 300 East Main Street. Basil, Texas, and uh, you don't want to miss that because Barbara Fairchild is a sweet, sweet Christian lady, and her husband, Roy, is a great Christian man, 
and they're traveling around for the Lord Jesus these days and going from church to church in various different places and sharing their music and sharing their heart and most importantly, sharing Jesus. Yes, they, they both have such a sweet spirit and uh, they're tremendous together. They kind of feed off of each other and um, I'll guarantee you the music will be good and um, what they have to say will be good. Just enjoy with them every time we can. So you don't want to miss that. It, it's going to be a great, great show. It really is. Uh, and as you've noticed, uh, you know, Joy's my new co-host, I should say. Don is, uh, he's going to be in and out, so to speak. He'll he'll be back at some point. But right now with his two jobs and, and starting a brand new work, a church, uh, here on the outskirts of Azle, Texas, off of Sandy Beach Road, um, he's starting a church out there. I think they're going to have their first service uh, right after right, New Year. Yeah, which would be January 7th. 7th. And uh, so uh, if you're in the area and want to attend, I want to see his church or go out and listen to them and fellowship with them. Well, I'm sure he would welcome you with open arms. And uh, so we appreciate uh, all of your love and support. Uh, let's see here, Joy. If I can get, let's see if I can find. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Looks like uh, Earl Herman, of course, my neighbor, is here in the studio. We have uh, Micah McCarley's in the studio, and she'll be on at 12.30 to do a little devotional for us. And then Tim Wheeler, Two for Jesus. He tunes in every week, and we're so grateful for that, Tim. It just uh, every time one of you, all of you guys, when your names pop up, it makes our hearts uh, full. <laughs> yes. I remember meeting them at our last concert. Mm -hmm. Him and Lisa? Yes. Uh, let's see. Pearl and uh, Roberta Hunter Thompson. Hey, Roberta. From Warsaw, Indiana. Uh, she's such a sweet lady and such a, a diehard fan of God's music. And we're so grateful for her. And her and Lindy are going to be singing, I think, Friday up in Ohio. Oh, wow. Uh, isn't that neat? It is. Uh, need to go, go hear them. That's right. And I see on here Bluegrass Transport. Uh, I don't know if they're still on or not, but hello, Bluegrass Transport. And uh, tell us, I, I think I met you at one of our programs, I think, if I recall. But you might uh, put in here. Maybe say a little word or two about where you're from and who you are. And uh, Fran Boyd, Dave hey, and Fran, Fran Boyd, uh, they go to our church. They so. do. We'll see them Sunday. We will. And Dave and Fran are also. Uh, hand me that book right there. Oh, or you can hold it up. She'll be. She'll be like. She'll be my Vanna White today. Mm -hmm. uh, but turn it over the other side. Oh, there they are. That's David and Fran Boyd. Uh, they they made the back of our book uh, with our T-shirt and coffee mug and everything. It's, uh, you'll see that they have that on. There our models for our our goods. You can buy those things online at our website, thewebsterbrothers.com. So uh, if you ever ever want to uh, do that, that'll help us out just a little bit. Might be able to buy a hamburger. Uh, yes. <laughs> and of course, our Canadian friend who was went to Branson with us, Darlene McConnell. Hello, Darlene. Hey, Darlene. And uh, we're so happy that you are you are on as well. Uh, anytime our Canadian friends and our friends from England and different ones tune in, like I said, when we see your name, it just makes our heart leap for joy because we just uh, love our time with you. And uh, the fact that we know most of you and have known you for a while. Now, Roberta Thompson up in Indiana, we are Internet friends. We've never met in person. Uh, I'm going to try to change that this summer. I think I'm going to go through on my way up to Canada. And uh, I want to meet Roberta because she's been so faithful to us and such a sweet Christian lady. But, uh, okay, let's see if we can get started. I'm going to start with my brother, Don. 
this song uh, in December went up to number 29 on the Gospel Music Chart in Christian Voice Magazine. And we're hoping and praying that in January that it'll go up even further. Yeah. We're just praying to the good Lord for that because uh, it just gives us a bigger platform to share the message of Jesus. And uh, I love this song because it says, The one who knew no sin became sin for you and me. You came on hi granny she said and uh yeah bluegrass i hit the wrong <laughs> i'll tell you what that's funny at least it's funny to me maybe it's not to you guys uh so funny in here yeah joy tell them about this next song we're gonna play of yours which one are we gonna it's play Grace. oh my goodness that okay. that is a very requested song on my CD, and uh, our John Webster wrote this song for my album, 
And uh, I just I just love singing it because it's just so true. And we have I, I just get requests all the time for for that song because the, the instrumentals are good on it and the message is good on it. So it's grace. That's right. His grace will never leave me. Never. His grace will never lead me. Where it won't keep where me. Where it won't keep, keep me. me. I love that message. Jesus, there are times when I don't understand. It's not for me to know what's in your plan But way down deep inside of me I know you're in control Because Jesus, you're the keeper of my soul so freely Yet his love for me remains unchanged Each day I live He forgives He's God He cannot lie He said I'll lead you Love and keep you As the days go by That was Joy Roberts. I understand uh, someone told me there's an echo, and I'm not sure where that's coming from. Uh, I'll have to look at that. <laughs> I hope it's not too bad, but uh, anyway. Oh, good. He says, sounds great now. What a beautiful song, Joy. Well, thank you so much. I love that song. Thank you, John, for um, allowing me to record it. Yeah. Well, I'm just glad somebody did. Uh, you know, over the years, there's been two or three people that's asked to record certain songs, and that just happens to be one of them. Thank you. Um, what are you showing on your telephone over there, Pearl? I'm just showing our telephone. Oh, good. All right. Well, I'm just going to ignore this monitor over here because it's not working right. 
think it's messing us up. I think, I think you better stick to the I laptop. Better stick to the laptop. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Zeb is off this week. He's with his family. Went, yeah, we miss you, Zeb. We we um uh, he's missing with family through the holiday season. So, uh, but he'll be back with us next week, and then I won't have to worry with this so anyway um what would you do over the holiday tell us a little bit well we um christmas eve we gathered with the family the thursday night before we met um our son and daughter-in-law and two grandsons at go go gumbos and had dinner with them i love go go gumbo oh yeah it's, it's, a, it's, it's a great place and it's a great place to um have some family gatherings. We've had a lot of anniversaries, birthdays, everything go goes. But um, then we were at Kathy's, excuse me, for a little while on Christmas Eve. And then uh, Christmas Day, we were at Renee's and uh, their cousin from their dad's side came over and his wife. Very and good. Yeah. We got to pray for their little grandbaby that was born too early. Oh. Um, so we, we had a good prayer time for her and she's. Barely a pound, but um, she's doing well, and she's she's been here for a whole week now. Good. So we're praying for baby Sadie. 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 That's a neat name, Sadie. I like that. Well, uh, I spent my Christmas with Pearl. I took her up to Longview, Texas, where her granddaughter and great-grandchildren and granddaughter and daughter and they were all up there. It was a lot of fun, a lot of great food. But what was the highlight of that visit was Amberlina, who is, I hope, listening right now, uh, she asked me if I would baptize her because uh, she hadn't been baptized, I guess, that she had been saved. And I said, certainly I would. And so we went uh, into her bathroom, all the family. If you tried to squeeze a family in the bathroom, that's quite a deal. And she filled that tub up with water, and we put her in that, or she got in the tub, I should say. And we baptized her in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, uh, buried. In the likeness of death. Yeah, in the likeness of his death. Raised in the likeness of his life. Raised to newness of life. I can't remember the, the words, but anyway, it was exciting. It was really neat. I'd never done that before uh, in a bathtub. Now, I've done it in lakes and creeks and things like that. But that was my first experience in a bathtub. But you know what? Doesn't make any difference. Doesn't matter. It's like I said to the family before we even went in there and did that. You know, this is a, an external testimony that she's giving for something that's happened on the inside. She has died with Christ, and she has raised. Uh, she was raised again with Him into newness of life to live for Him from this point forward. And so, it was a real neat experience for us, Joy. I used to listen to Steve Solomon on Praise in the Night, and I've heard him tell people if they were alone and by themselves, just fill up the bathtub and just get in and baptize yourself. <laughs> Doesn't matter as long as you're doing, you know, following the Lord in baptism. You know, we've always talked about uh, different, o- over the years, different Christians have talked about, well, you ain't want to dunk them or sprinkle them or what do you think? You know, and all that kind of stuff. And I said, well, I know where the sprinkling came from. You know, uh, in that day, they were lived out in the desert. They were wandering nomads. And so I'm sure there was not any water nearby. And so they just thought, well, we'll just let this represent the baptism and we'll We'll sprinkle a little water on them. And, you know, I don't, I don't think that uh, it really makes any difference. I think it's the heart. It is, too. And uh, I know that some people are, are set on immersion, and I believe in immersion. I do. Me I was too. immersed. And I was, I'm too. sure you were, too. But if I were out in the desert and wanted to be baptized and there wasn't any water, I'd, I'd just say, hey, Lord, I want, I want to represent you. If you, even and if you pour a cup of water over your head. That's right. As long as your heart's right. That's right. That's the main thing is, is, is your heart filled with Jesus. Amen. And that's Amen. really, to me, that's the main thing. Exactly. I, you, you know, you have to think about 
not everybody in this world, and it's a big world, lives in a place where there are lakes and and oceans and all that nearby. So uh, especially back then, they didn't have bathtubs and things like right. that. They just had, uh, I don't know how they did it. I think they, they, they did the old wipe down, you know, sort of thing. In some parts of the world, water is so scarce. Yes. That, you know, you have to just, as long as it's the representation and your heart is right to follow the Lord biblically, um, I think God honors that. Amen. Well, anyway, that's just a talk, talk for conversation there. I just thought it was Opinions. just kind of neat. Well, let's get on with another song. Here's a song that I wrote years ago. Uh, I really do enjoy it. The Devil Can't Take Me. The devil can't take me, shake me. He'll never, never break me from the sun. Cause I'm a born again, change man, cleanse within, freed from sin, Christian. He'll never, never use me, confuse me. I will let him move me. He's on the run. He's on the run. Cause I'm a born again, changed man, cleansed within, free from sin, Christian. The devil's in the church, and he is on the search to see if he can make you stumble. If he can't succeed, he'll knock you to your knees. He'll turn your smiling face to a grumble. So open up your eyes, don't believe his lies. Let Jesus be the one that you lean on. He will hold you tight, give you the words to fight. Victory is yours for the taking. The devil can't take me, shake me. He'll never, never break me from the sun. Cause I'm a born again, changed man, cleansed within, freed from sin, Christian. He'll never, never use me, confuse me. I won't let him lose me. He's on the run. He's on the run. Cause I'm a born again, changed man, cleansed within, freed from sin, Christian. God is on your side, in Him you must abide, nothing in this world can break you. He is all you need, so get up on your feet, Jesus Christ the devil, He's defeated. Darlene said, tell you hello. Hi, Darlene. Oh, Micah McCarley is Joy's granddaughter, and I've been having her do a read us up. Uh, tell us where you're getting your, your is from a Go Tell Jesus? or It's uh, Jesus Calling. Jesus Calling. And I got this book from our good longtime friend, Terry Bean. Okay. Look in the camera there. Okay. Mm, I post a devotion every morning on Facebook. Good. Wonderful. Well, what have you got for us today? Read it slowly. Well, in honor of New Year's Eve, I have the New Year's Eve devotion. Okay. As this year draws to a close, receive my peace. This is still your deepest need, and I, your Prince of Peace, long to pour myself into your neediness. My abundance and your emptiness are a perfect match. I design you to have no sufficiency of your own. I created you as a jar of clay set apart for sacred use. I want you to be filled with my very being, permitted through and through with peace. Thank me for my peaceful presence. Regardless of your feelings, 
whisper my name in loving tenderness, my peace, which lives continually in your spirit, will gradually work its way through your entire being. For to us, a child is born, to us, a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9, 6. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us, 2 Corinthians 4, 7. But the Counselor... The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John 14, 26, 27. Micah McCarley, and this has been today's message, New Year's Eve. (laughs) <laughs> Amen, Micah. That's real good that you that I like that because uh, I love the part where he says, uh, "My peace I leave with you, not the peace that the world gives you, but the but the peace of God." That's a different kind of peace, isn't it? Yes, it is. That just means that that uh, any time a problem comes up in our lives, then uh, we can go to Jesus with it. And we know that he hears our prayers and we know that he cares. And so it's a wonderful thing that uh, that he leaves us his peace. It's in our heart. And all I have to do is just go and get it. Yep. Just find it. It's there. Uh, so often we we have issues that come up in our life that it's bigger than we can handle. And so we have to go outside of ourselves to God and we have to let him have control of those things so that uh, we can uh, have that peace that passes all understanding, the Bible says. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you for uh, having me. I know that you've been sharing um, these at other places. You've got uh, Heaven's Country. Heaven's Country. I interview different music artists. Right. Uh I'm also sharing devotions on Royal Clark Show, Christian Country Music Express, on Tuesdays. Okay. Now, he's on every morning from 8 to 10. Yes. And then Marty does his morning shows every weekday morning at 7 a.m., 7 to 8 a.m. Central. And then my show on Heaven's Country is from 9 to 10 on Monday mornings. There's a lot of good YouTube uh, shows. We get these channels that YouTube offers. And we are able to do these programs and then put them on there. That uh, it videotapes it, but keeps it on there. And so we have like I think over eighty programs already on there. And I know that we get a lot of viewers because uh, I looked this past week, and just in the last six weeks we've had more than twenty thousand viewers. That's a Isn't lot. That amazing. Very. So uh, anyway, that just goes to show you that in spite of yourself, God can use you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, thank you for sharing that with us. I'm going to go ahead and get to another song here. Uh, this is my brother, Don. This is a song he wrote a long time ago. It says, Lord, let your kingdom come. And it's a great little song.
size and have your way with us as we reach those around us in need. Lord, let your kingdom come. Peace and joy in the Holy One. Walk along beside us and have your way with us as we testify that others may believe. So we worship and adore Him We give Him praise and honor As we lay our lives before Him Today, today Lord, let Your kingdom come Peace and joy in the Holy One Walk along beside us And have Your way within us those around us in need. Lord, let your kingdom come. Peace and joy in the Holy One. Walk alongside us and have your way with us as we testify that others may believe. Lord, let your kingdom come. Lord, let your kingdom come. Praise the Lord. And we do want the Lord to come, don't you? Uh, I believe he's coming back soon. I do too. And I believe we're going to see it. That We're going to be a generation that, that witnesses that. That's right. Uh, we want to remind you that scrolling at the bottom of your screen there, it shows uh, January the 27th at 3 p.m. right here at our studio, uh, 300 East Main Street here in Azel, Texas. Uh, we're going to have Barbara Fairchild and her husband, Roy Morris. Uh, they have a dynamic ministry. Uh, they travel around and sing the gospel and and uh, share their testimonies and, and and witness. They're great witnesses for the Lord. And so uh, they're going to be here January 27th at 3 o'clock. So I hope that you will, you can get tickets if you want to go online and buy them. There You can go to emplaza.net. That's emplaza.net. Or you can call down here and reserve your tickets uh, if you want to do that. Um, or if you're in the area and you want to stop by and purchase tickets, you can do that. So uh, Edie is here from 9 in the morning, usually around 9 to about 1 in the afternoon, and uh, she'll be happy to sell you tickets. <laughs> you know, Roy and Barbara are such a dynamic couple. They just mesh together so well, and uh, they're entertaining to some degree. Uh, they're they're funny, just the two of them chit chatting. But they're such a spiritual couple. It's just it it you're just enlightening to be around them. And they've lived in Branson for many years, and yes, over twenty years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's you know she's gave me my very first program. I, I mean, my very first appearance that I did in Branson was because of her and Roy. Wow. And years ago, they were they were doing a um, Sunday show at the Glen Campbell Good Time Theater, and that's where they were. The place was packed, over two thousand people, and they called me up and had me do a song. <laughs> and I was so excited. Um, Barbara barely remembers it, but at the same time, I told her, I said, "Y'all don't know how much you mean to me, allowing me to come and sing." to that big of a crowd and that was many years ago so it was a big thing for me well they did a sunday show for a long long time yes, at different did. theaters mm -hmm. because i know um when uh we would be even in west plains or in branson for some reason she had always call me ahead of time and and ask if on and i would come and be a part of the service and mm -hmm. i would sing and then she would 
a lot of times have him come down and lay hands on people and pray for oh, them, pray great. for the sick people. And yeah, that's wonderful. Um, they, we just so um, we're so thankful that they included us in their ministry because they had a lot of people coming to the church. Yeah. She has a great um, sphere of influence. Yes. And she shares it with people so, so uh, beautifully. And it's just amazing to me how they, how they go about their uh, ministry and how they help so many people. Well, and you know, even that, that teddy bear song, light a uh-huh. platform for her to be able to reach a lot of people spiritually. Right from so many years ago. Joy, I'm going to do one of your songs. Oh, okay. I like this. It's called Trial Trip. We're on a trial trip. Yes, we are. Just a bridge to heaven This life is just a trial trip We're on We may see four score years and seven Before we And you can't carry on 
Every time you turn around You think that you have finally found Someone who'll help you find your way Does it seem you're barely getting by? Sometimes you feel you need to cry You can't see the forest for the trees There's hope on the horizon Just speak and you will find it He's only a prayer away Let me tell you about Jesus The one who lives for you Let me tell you about Jesus Oh, he will see you through Tell him all about your troubles You'll never find a friend so true as Jesus Christ, the precious Son of God. When times get tough and days get long, don't give up, you're not alone. Jesus will be there each time you fall. He understands your deepest needs. Come to Him and you'll receive love like you've never had before. Today's your day, so let Him in. There'll never be a better time to start again. He's only a prayer away. Let me tell you about Jesus, the one who lives for you. Jesus, oh, he will see you through. Tell him all about your troubles and all your sorrows too. Praise the Lord, and he is only a prayer way. Lord, <laughs> we can pray anytime, anywhere, right. at any hour. Mm-hmm. He's always Remember ready to listen. Remember that years ago that somebody came with called the altar? Yes. And it's, uh, uh, it said, it's really says anywhere. Anywhere can be an altar. altar. Yes. And I remember this this friend of mine that used to sing that song. He was a maintenance guy over at the hospital. Oh, yeah. And he said he'd get in that bathroom and get to cleaning and there would be nobody in there. So he'd just kneel down at the toilet and start praying. He said, that you can make anything an altar. Yes, said. you can. And that was his testimony. I thought that was funny, but I thought and it was And you good. can get saved anywhere, anytime. It doesn't have to be in a church. It doesn't have to be by a pastor. That's right. You can ask the Lord to save you all by yourself. You know, I've always told people that God is is as close to you as your whisper. Yes. Yes. You know, uh, all you have to do is just call on his name and uh, he hears your prayers, especially if you want him in your life. Yes. Uh, he's. He loves to be invited into your life. Uh, He won't come unless he is invited, but uh, that's the key to life is knowing Christ. And and what is so amazing is that the billions of people on the earth, he still 
we're so individualized to him. Mm -hmm. And he still knows the number of hairs on our head. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. Or, it reminds all about it every day. I, he's got a hair angel up there that's doing it, doing the math. <laughs> he's, he's as close as a whisper. And, um, you know, he's as close as your next breath because he controls all that. That's right. And um, there's been so many times when I would be feeling down or, you know, something really bad going on and I was dealing with this and that. And I'd just close my eyes and say, Father, can I just get in your lap and just hold me, just surround me? And you could just feel that warmth mm -hmm. just surround you That's right. because he's there for every aspect of our life. Amen. Great testimony, Joy. Uh, let's play one of Don's songs. It says, Until Then. That's a good oh, old, love that old song. Good old song. Amen. My heart can sing when I pause to remember a heartache here is but a stepping stone along a trail that's winding always upward this trouble world is not my final home Until then My heart will go on singing Until then With joy I'll carry on Until the day My eyes behold
so weary and you're struggling with your faith so I Joy Roberts. That Thank was, you, John Webster. That was Joy singing. There's still time for a miracle. You know, um, it seems like the last few months I've done that song more and more and more because there are so many people who need prayer. That's right. And so many people that are hurting in one way or another, whether it's illness or whether it's emotional or whether it's financial. Um there's all kinds of ways that, that people are hurting. Yes. And that song was written by Deborah Shepherd. And um it's just it's just amazing how it ministers to people yes. and how it comforts them. Because just never give up hope. We're we're dealing with um my niece's little uh, premature baby that was born last Thursday, uh-huh. not even a pound. Wow. But God has sustained her, and she's gaining a little bit of ground every day. It's wonderful. And uh, it's brought our family closer together right. with all these illnesses yeah. where we all pray for each other. But um, that song just holds true. As it long is. as there's breath, yeah. there's hope. And, you know, it doesn't really have to be a big, big problem. You know, uh, I've always thought about how it each person has their individual yes. problems or worries yes. or frustrations in their life. And it may not seem big to me, this big but to it's them. your problem. So it is to you. Yes. It's big to you. And yes. God is big enough. He is big enough. And miraculous. All of that at one time. Yes. Everybody's problems. Yes. But he has a way of, uh, you know, when things don't go the way we think they should, uh, people sometimes wonder where God is. And I said, well, Whoever has comforted you, whoever has come to you and provided a resource you needed, yes. Whoever's helped you get through this situation, that's where God was. Yes. Uh, he knows our hurts. He knows our pain. And God directs different people that's to right. be there for you when He can't actually touch you, or you don't feel Him touch you. When it's, but yeah, when you don't feel Him, when He also when if it's not in His will to grant to you. What, what you're asking, asking for, because why have I ever in my lifetime been thankful for some unanswered prayers? Amen. Well, he is a, a miraculous God, just like the, the three boys in the, we always talk about the Hebrew yeah. boys in the flames, you know. He didn't take them, he didn't prevent them from going into the fire. But what he did is he went into the fire with, with them, them and protected them. And so God doesn't yeah. always... Uh, remove the obstacle that he's with you as you move through that obstacle. And then you look back on it, and and in time you, you think, wow, what, what a great God I serve. Absolutely. Have, he's been with me all these years. Absolutely. And helped me get through so much in my life. 
Uh, well, we're, our time is about up. Uh, I want you guys to know that we're always praying for you yes, each week, please. and we covet your prayers as well. Uh, I did see here, though, where Big Dan Johnson said that he's enjoyed the show today. <laughs> Pray for me and Joy. We both have this thing going on with our throats. Well, we have to sing Sunday. <laughs> we have to sing Sunday. And then uh, Ennis Jones from across the pond over in England at Penzance is tuned in. Ennis, we're always happy to see hear from you. And Happy New Year to you as well. Uh, it'll be New Year's uh, over there before it's New Year's over here. <laughs> because they're ahead of us, I believe, uh, seven hours or six or seven hours, something like that. So it'll be New Year's for them in that middle of the afternoon. That's right. You know, sometimes if we want to see something that's going on over there at nine in the morning, we got to get up at three in the morning so we can watch it live. Uh, but anyway, Ennis, we're so excited. And tell Simon new, Happy New Year's for us as well. She's our, uh, they're our friends from over in England that always try to tune in as much as they can, and we sure do appreciate it. Um, but just to let you know, we're praying for you, and uh, you can always write to us if you want to. Uh, my email is john at john webster online dot com. Uh, you can go to our website, the webster brothers dot com, uh, but there's a place there where you can leave a message. Uh, we're always happy to hear from you, and if you have a prayer request, you can send that to us. We're happy to take that and pray over it all week long, and uh, just we just want God to to do for you uh, what He's done for so many people, and that is just uh, love you and comfort you and provide for you. And there's just the list is endless. Yes. Amen. There's nothing too hard for God. That's right. So, Joy, thank you for again. Uh, you know, Joy, this is her what second show? Second show. Second show. This and time. Micah uh, joined us. We thank you, Micah, for bringing that devotional to us. And uh, it took me a little while to figure out what was going on with this computer here, but we finally made it. It was the last part of the show, but but we finally got there. But we got it. Yeah. And Zeb will be back with us next week, so hopefully it'll it'll run smooth again. And uh, but we just want to say we love you and we thank you for tuning in. And we're going to close out with our song, uh, "Midnight Cry." See you next week. I hear the sound of a mighty rushing. And it's closer now than it's ever been. I can almost hear the trumpet as Gabriel sounds the call, as he sounds the call at the midnight cry. We'll be going home When Jesus steps out What a cloud to call His children The dead of Christ shall comes again I look around me I see prophecies they're all fulfilling and the signs of the times with every appearing every way 